I know, I know. It feels like I'll be eating my own words now. After all these videos I made of getting by of not using the uh, MKH416, I gone back and bought one again. And so in this video, hopefully I will be able to explain why I sold my MKH416 initially and then I bought it back again. Just because I was making the videos of how to get by without uh, MKH416 uh, by improving your environment, the mic is placed and um, the position the mic is placed and the post-processing workflow uh, that could actually get you where you want to be doesn't mean that the mic is no good, especially if you go back and watch my uh, MKH416 versus the SM7B, um, you can see it's performing absolutely flawlessly. But in filmmaking, like everywhere else, you have to explore things and try things. And I wanted to go ahead and try replicate the sound of that with the tools that cost way less or just different kind of tools. And I successfully managed to do it with minimal cost, but it takes a lot of effort in terms of soundproofing the room and this is one of the points why i actually got back and bought one again because preparing the room was a major pain in the ass anyway that said i learned a lot of valuable lessons i am able now to produce a decent sound no matter what environment i'm in and almost with most kind of equipment but again and you move in this uh, journey of filmmaking and start appreciating different aspects of it um, and I've always been into audio. Uh, back years ago, I studied audiovisual art, and that was my favorite subject. But I only was focusing on special effects and our sound composition rather than uh, creating music. And I know for a fact that a lot of people are using this for Foley noises. And another reason why I got this back is because I was making the video recently and I needed to record something close to a relative danger to me. and. I didn't want to sacrifice the mic, you know, it's it's um, it's just wasteful. I didn't want to damage the equipment. And I thought I could really benefit from hypercardioid pattern mic, such as this. And these are the two main reasons why I got it. Uh, a is I don't really have the time to every time sound treat the room and uh, whenever I need to do recording, because this is a room that my wife is using as well for work. B is the fact that it gives me a lot more reach, so it's a lot more flexible when doing Foley noises or recording in more dangerous environments. And C is it's actually saving me time. Overall, if we take into the consideration that environment doesn't have to be adjusted for recording, I don't need to do as much post-processing and only those two points is enough to have much faster for workflow. And when I'm trying to turn up two videos a week, this is actually adding up. Um, not only that, I just it's just another headache that I don't have to think about. And I'm directly recording to Blackmagic right now. And above all, no matter all these reasons, I just love it. I just love the sound of it. And if I like something in life, I know I'm gonna get it. Uh, I said that initially, then I kind of freaked out, kind of wanted to explore other areas. And I thought like, okay, I'll sell it. I'll get something else instead, explore these, and, I, and if I still like it, I'll get it back again, because you can always buy things, you know? Um, and so I did. And I don't know if this is going to take my channel to different direction, because I'm exploring more and more the sound side of things. It could, it could not. I kind of enjoy both. So at the moment, I'm still exploring. This is only video number 22 out of the 100 that I set out to do this year. Um, although it is 22 already, I must say, actually, uh, I can't believe the time passes so fast, but we'll see. Time will tell. And for the time being, it is what it is. It's a big experiment that I'm running to get this uh, 100 videos turned out. And uh, I learned so much. It's incredible. I would offer anybody thinking about YouTube to do the same, if not better, if you can, if you can get, get like 200 videos for a year, that would be even big, bigger boost. But uh, I'm exhausted. I can barely keep up with the 100. So this is the best I can do. Anyway, cool. MKH416 uh, is here to stay now for good. Uh, unless somebody steals it or I destroy it by accident. Hopefully not. Uh, and if I do, I'll buy another one. All right. I'll see you around. Bye.